you know, playoff time always, <laughs> it always says no time for friends. You know, the friendships and, and, every, and everything kind of get stopped right there. You know, Zeke, we know we, you have one probably the most public and most famous relationships with, with Magic. Take us through that when, you know, it's playoff time, friends, you got that line, but oh, you still got to win. You know what it is. We, we friends off the court. Absolutely. But, but Magic Johnson had exactly what I wanted. Mm. He, he had the ring. Right. And, and make no mistake about it, he knew and the world knew I want to take that. Right. And, and it, it wasn't personal. No. But you just got what I want. And you got to go through L.A. And, and I got to have it. And right? you got to go through and, L.A. And if you don't let me have it, right, I'm going to ask for it nicely. Mm. But if you <laughs> nah. don't give it to it nicely, nah, nah, then I'm going to have to take yeah, it. You're gonna right, right. Yeah, you're going to definitely have to take it. Because that's what being a champion is all about. And, 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 and Magic was the same way. Right. We was cool until we got to the finals. And when we got to the finals, Remember, he had a room in his house. It was called Isaiah Room. Mm. And I used to, when I used to fly out to L.A., he would leave a car for me, right? I would drive out of crib. We would eat dinner and everything okay. together. We get to the finals. Ain't no car. All right. Ain't no room. That's what it is, though. Wait, right. and Zeke, you can't come to the house. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Are you respecting that, though? I respect that because I think you play harder against your friends, Absolutely. especially if you got to hang out with them in the summer. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. It, it's like it's playing against your brother. So I, right. I wanted to kill him, right. and he wanted to kill me I wanted, right. for no other reason because he had exactly what I wanted, and I mm. wanted that ring. I wanted right. to be a champion. Man, you know what's crazy? He understood that. He probably knew your temperature. Tell you, I know you got a brother. You know, I know when siblings y'all hoop, Mark and Pal on the biggest stage that you can compete, man, other than, you know, the finals, but playoff time. Just to talk about that, siblings hooping right now. Yeah. In that respect, it's a little different from friends. Oh, yeah, it's definitely different from friends, but at the same time, I, I, I could pretty sure attest to you that Mark Gasol is, is all business when right. he steps out on that court. Absolutely. I, I had the privilege to play with Mark in mm. Memphis for a couple years, and I know for sure that he's keeping everything on the court business as usual. Right. Uh, might be talking to him, you know, after the game, once right. he get home or get to the hotel and things like that. But once right. he step out on that court, you know, he dap each other up before the game starts. Right, right, right. But after that, it's over. It's like, over. It's, 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 it's between these lines. Do you believe, and I, I believe this, but do you believe when it's players that, you know, friends against personal or different vendettas, you go a little harder at those? Versus friends, you know, friends, y'all going to each other at a certain temperature, but it's that one player that, I'm not going to say you don't like, but y'all got some energy. You know, y'all got some of that, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Right, some right. of that bored dog, that mano y mano energy. You know, you, that, that, that's actually out there, right? We, we can all attest to that. That's, that's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Right. And, and I think it's, 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 it's status. Mm, you know what I mean? It, right. It's like, okay, Magic was, I was gonna you know, the you, number one yours? point guard. I was going to say, right. who was yours? Well, it was Magic and Stockton. I was just going to say, you and yeah. Stockton kind of had that little energy. Yeah, and every time we played against each other, it was... It was a different level because mm. we was all, you know, we, we all had conceded that Magic was the best point right, guard, right? right? But after that, it was like, damn. No, we're you know, this hands like, hey. this in the air. <laughs> you know, this in the air, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, right. I'm next to Magic. Right. Stockton was thinking he was next to Magic. Mm. Then Mark Price jumped up and like he was next to Magic. And I was like, uh, I'm. Zeke, you feel it? You I'm, feel the intent? You feel it? Absolutely. Every time you walked out on the floor, mm. it was about dominance. And, and the way I looked at it, it was like, and my brothers and them taught me this. They said, look, every time you play against these cats, mm -hmm. right, from high school to college. Gotta let them know. My brother said, Junior, for the next 10 years, that dude got to be in your back pocket. Right. Every time you see him, he got to jump in your back right. pocket. You can't fight with everybody. Right. You can only fight with two or three people. Right. The rest of the league, all of them, they got to know, like, right. you can't have a hard night with me. Right. You, you just got to let me win tonight. Let me get my 20, right. let me get my 10, we good. Right. The other two, I'm going to fight with. Right. But everybody else, I'm on. So you had one? Let me hear it. Well, I mean, I think, you know, me, you know, coming to the league and once again, you know, as I explained earlier, not playing and stuff like that and watching right. guys, right. guys that were a little bit older than I was, mm -hmm. and I had to guard all the time, right. you know, the T-Max, the Kobe's and yeah, stuff like that. you're going the best score and stuff, too. And, you know, I took that responsibility, you know, when... I watched and examined, you know, sitting on a bench, Rips a score, Chauncey's a score, a playmaker. Mm. When I do have my opportunity, what is, what do I have to go out there and make a statement for myself right. and to earn a coach's trust to have a rookie out there with those guys? Right. So I made, I made the emphasis, I got this guy, I got him, I'm taking him.
Mm. I have to find something to help the team. All right. How do you keep your, your mind right when, when Kobe going off or T-Mac going off? Right. You know, how, how do you stay tight? Because, you know, when them guys do something, the whole building go right. crazy, right? right? No question. And, and how do you stay focused? Because That's a great that, question. You know, everybody can't do that. Right. It, it, was, it was perfect for me because I'm, 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 I'm mild-mannered. I'm, I'm low-key, as right, you know. Right, you know, me, right. you being in Minnesota last no doubt, year, no I'm low-key, uh, nothing. I'm never too high, never too low. So right. once I saw those things happen, I could be here. Mm. You didn't I get could, mad? I could be here. Oh, I could be mad, right. but you would right. never it see it. evenly balanced is what you you're saying. You would never see it. Right. So I could always be here. You, you didn't know, want to get back? I always knew that these guys will have a run at some point in the game. Right. I just have to make sure it ain't at the right time of right. the game. Tay, right. is it momentum killers that a defender can take on a, you know, we saw Joe Johnson. And everybody who knows Joe Johnson, we've been watching basketball for the last 20 some years. We know Joe Johnson's game. When you saw that, the first thing you're thinking is, uh-oh, here it comes. And as a, as a defender, are you able to recognize those moments are you, are, you, are you as present as he is in those moments? No question. Right. I'm in that moment. Uh, and, and for example, if, you know, when Joe hits, hits that shot the other night and I see that uh, there's a smaller guy, undersized guy guarding mm -hmm. him, and I'm a defender and I know I'm not guarding him, I'm coming. Right, go. right. Somebody else beating me. And you got to know that. Somebody else beating me. That's and a reaction. Somebody that's else, what somebody got to come. We, we saw that with LeBron James and Paul George. Came the night. ball. He, he, he's like, hey, somebody else can beat us. We've been watching Joe do this, right? Yeah. The difference between the Cavaliers defensively against right. Paul George and the Clippers defensively against Joe Johnson, LeBron James recognized, okay, somebody else going to beat us. And the Clippers said, all right, Jamal, you got him. One-on-one -on -one by yourself. You know, uh, it was a sound bite um, that I heard uh, Westbrook say. They asked him about the friendship, obviously, of him and uh, James Harden. You know, I just want to play this, this uh, sound bite right here. When I get on the floor, I got one friend, and that's the basketball. I've been like that since I was a little kid. Uh, my dad taught me that when I was younger. Uh, once you get on the floor, you got one friend, and the friend is balding. Uh, at the time, it was maybe it was Wilson, or maybe it was some other. The rock, whatever, it is. whatever the ball is, that's, that's, that's right that, hey, look, It doesn't get no realer than that, yo. Like seriously, this, this. As much as you love, you know, having a friend and the energy between you and him. You, first of all, my friend knows my goals. Mm -hmm. You know, we we we're parallel. We share a bunch of that. So, you know, I always say, and in, in friend and in, in, in friends and com, confining in friends, they understand each other. You know, when I would play against Chauncey and the Detroit team, I'm sure he was telling Ben and, 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 and Rasheed pointers about whatever, and I was telling Rondo and all guys the same thing and understanding that of uh, what intensity this is about to yeah. be. Not trying to hurt either one of us because we have a respect there, but he knows how bad I want to win. He was, he was my magic to you. When my I was... teammate comes before any friend I got. My mm -hmm. teammate comes before my brother, you know, and when we trying to get that championship, That's my teammate came before family. Right. Every, my teammate was first. Right. My friendships and all that was after that. Yeah. Listen, yeah. man. Listen, this, this is something to be understood. You think it's psychotic, but this is the level. And this is how you think at this level. Yeah. Playoff basketball. It's not to be, under, you know, it's, it's to be understood.